Dream chasing boxing here. Shout out to the LDBC. Real quick video. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Well, I can't. Got to go to work actually. But before I get back to the uh, back to the grind, I want to talk about Anthony Joshua. I'll do a live stream later and go into this like a little bit more in depth. But I don't get the dude. I honestly, for the life of me, I do not understand Anthony Joshua. I don't get his intentions, his motives. None of it really adds up to me, man. It, it's weird, and I try to tell people because they try to be like, "What? Like, see, like, like, you, like, you, like, what, what? Like, with Eddie Hearn, because he's like, how come the American media, like, like, what, like, what they, don't, what, what don't they understand? We need this, we need that. Um, we just, we're just asking basic questions, and they're a good question. And I remember all the smug fans, like these fake booty hole licking dudes, man. Like, like all these, like, all these pretenders, man. Like these weirdos, right? We're coming off trying to make it seem that people aren't as intelligent. Oh, wait, wait, if you knew about business, then you would know that you need this for, and you need this, and you need that, and oh. All that smug talking, anybody with common sense, right, anybody who's fair and impartial was looking at it when they kept adding more stipulation. They wanted 50 minutes. Okay, do you want the 50 million dollars? Um, like, so is it 50 million dollars? Is that a good offer, yes or no? Well, uh, we're, we're interested. Is well, yeah, but do you accept the money? Is the money good? Well, well, we're interested, but we have to worry about the television deal, other sponsors, book deals, um, veg vegetable deals, uh, uh, back alley deals. It's like, bro, see, the thing is, right, about Americans, right, and not even just Americans, but just real people. Let me not, like, let me not, you know, cut out UK fans who know the deal too. We know a bullshitter. If you're anybody with any level of common sense, you know a bullshitter when you see one. Everybody knew the moment that Eddie Hearn found out the money was legit, he was going to come up with something else. That was that was of no surprise to anybody. Only fools that, that, like, that believe Eddie Hearn, they want to believe Eddie Hearn. But of course, the moment they found out the money was legit, he was going to have another stipulation. And that's what's going on now. And it's so fake. I, there's so many different avenues that I could approach this. But I'm going to leave it at it like this and get to the main topic of the video. If Anthony Joshua does not take this, um, this Deontay Wilder fight, it will be the biggest duck. I'm not going to say history because I have been watching boxing all the history. I'm not a historian. It will be the biggest duck I've ever seen. How do you turn down more guaranteed money than Floyd Mayweather? Like, how do you turn down guaranteed $50 million? And not just that. It's exactly what you asked for. You're on video Asking for something that you thought was absurd, which is the only reason why you asked for it, because you thought they couldn't do it. And a lot of his fans who fucking got behind him was like, yeah, 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 like, yeah, like 50 million, yeah, if y'all yeah, if y'all really want to fight that bad, come up with the money. And then comes up with money, what happens? They're shocked. They don't believe the money. You know, some dude from Alabama, they, they don't believe the money, the money's real because, um, and, and it all goes back to this, and that in itself proved that they were frauds. How do you ask for something that you don't believe that somebody can attain to fight you? How can you sit there and say, hey, that is a clear sign of somebody who doesn't want to fight, and that's a clear sign of people who are fake. How do you get behind a guy asking for something, right? And it's like, okay, cool, well, here it is. Like, what, you got it? Like, yeah, you asked for it. If you didn't believe that he can get it, why the fuck would you ask for it, man? That, like, that, right, that in itself makes you a fraud. And then, right, and then, oh, we have to make sure it's real, because you have all these doubts, right? And then the money's real, then it's like, oh, shit, oh, shit. I'm willing to take less money now to make sure the fight happens in the UK because if I go to the US, I might be robbed. What? You mean to tell me you asked for an absurd amount of uh, money that you didn't even believe that he can get for you? So to the point that when he got it, you questioned it every step of the way. There are videos. Y'all stop talking that dumb shit. It's on video. You know what I'm saying? Like, like these dudes are on video not believing the money's real. And then now, like, the money's real. Like, now, now you want to take less money because of the fans? Any people talking about some? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. The fans do deserve to fight in the UK. Aren't you the same motherfuckers who defend the fans getting screwed over and having to wait longer and pay for the fight over time because that's and, and have to wait longer for the fight and pay more for it later? Aren't you the same motherfuckers, right? Who say that's good business? We're like and like the the people like like me like the LDBC that wants the best for the fans that we're just being. Like delusional because business comes first. And now the motherfucker talks about, oh, yeah, the fans, and you buy that shit? Fuck you, man. You're like, oh, I'm sorry, dude. Like, I'm so tired of these dudes. I was sitting back 
until Wilder posted that shit last night. I was confident the fight would get done, to be honest with you. I'm like, 50 million? It's exactly what you asked for? I'm, I, I mean, my G. Like, like, what are we talking about? Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, okay, the iron out all the details, all the little bullshit. But like, shoot, shoot, $50 million is there. It's exactly what you asked for. It's for undisputed. Wilder wants it. And, and, and oh, let me not even get to the other logic. Oh, Wilder's just a bum. He's overrated. I've never seen a dude that is overrated like Deontay Wilder, right? You get $50 million to fight an overrated bum, allegedly, right? And everybody and their mama coming out saying, don't take that fight. Don't take that fight. He's an overrated. Fifty million dollars to fight an overrated bum. Are you serious? For undisputed. To be the king of boxing, none of that is enough for you. Oh, bro. Like, yo. Anyway, man, I gotta get back to work. I'm gonna go in on this, this on the live stream. In all honesty, it, it, this is so disgusting, man. Like these dudes. Like, and mind you, I'm here off of my information from guys like Seventy Eight. I don't listen to these clowns, man. Like, I don't listen to these other dudes because, yo, like, it, you're not a, you're not even a fan. It's one of the reasons why I don't even have, like, passion for the sport like the way I used to because of bitch-ass little boys like this, man. Like, Anthony Joshua, do the right thing and take the fight, bro. You got exactly what you wanted. That's what I would have done if I was out here talking about some, hey, man, um, I'll take whatever in the first match. I'll only give given a rematch. And then they did exactly that. And Wilder was like, well, nah, I'm going to change. Like, nah, I would have like, nah, dude, you said it. You said it. So you got, like, I even made a video talking about how, but, like, see, my, my ass was out here. But, see, that's what I get. I was out here trying to give Eddie Hearn benefit of the doubt. All this motherfucker does is live, man. I'm not believing shit that comes out of Eddie Hearn's mouth, man. But anyway, my thoughts on this, if Joshua wants to preserve his legacy and not go down as one of the biggest cowards I've ever seen, that's for sure, the biggest coward I've ever seen, take the fight, man. Take the fight. I mean, what more do you want? What more like you you can't ask for the A side anymore. You sold you sold the A side. You know that that 50 million can only be generated in Vegas, man. Like you know that. You can't ask for 50 million guaranteed. More money guaranteed than Floyd Mayweather Mayweather was getting. More guaranteed money that you even fathom that they could like you asked for something that was so unreasonable because you didn't think that, that they could actually get it. They get it and you still want more? You still want to be in control? Like, nah, dude. Like, like yo, if they get you $50 million and 50 50 um, everything else, like, yo, like, bro, that's it. What more could you ask for? Unless you just don't want the fight, man. Unless you just don't want the fight. But that's how I feel about that. We'll see. Hopefully the fight gets done. If y'all really want the fight in the UK, give Wilder a fair deal. If y'all, if y'all gave Wilder a fair deal in the beginning, y'all would have had the fight in the UK, man. DCB, I'm out, y'all.